Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today we've got ourselves some very good news. We've got ourselves a bunch of new cards, we've got a new secret rare, we've got a bunch of stuff about which we can get pretty gosh darn excited. Sound like fun? Cool. So let's start off. With Wug Trio, I love Wug Trio. I love Wiglet. When I played through Scarlet and Violet, we obviously knew about Wiglet in advance. They showed us Wiglet. That was a, a Pokemon reveal before we played the game. But then when the game came out, and I finally saw Wug Trio for the first time, I was so hoping there was going to be an evolution called Wug Trio. There was. It's awesome. Could this new Wug Trio be any good? Frankly, yes. Yes, it absolutely could. Now, the 90 HP, I'll be honest with you, is very disappointing. No real way around it, unfortunately. It's it's just a little bit annoying. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the 90 HP is a little bit of a pain. There we go. We've acknowledged this. Although, to be fair, remember you can use level ball. That's not yet rotated out. So we have at least got that. And the attack here... I mean, the attack is kind of nice as an emergency. It's two water energy, flip three coins, 70 damage for each heads that you flip. It's not good. I am not pretending that it's good. And honestly, even if you flip treble heads, and you're going to do that like one in eight games or one in eight attacks, even if you hit treble heads, it's still not great. But... Being able to do 210 on a single prize Pokemon is all right. You're not playing it for the attack, but I'm saying in an emergency, maybe it can be useful. The ability, however, the ability we like very much indeed. Because what we've got with the ability here is when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon tools, reveal them, and put them into your hand. And this is awesome. I like this very, very much indeed. Now, obviously, you've got a very low HP Pokemon here. And obviously, this is going to be a little bit of a problem in some matchups. And I'm going to mention it at the start and get this out of the way. Obviously, these kind of Pokemon moving forward when Paradox Rift is out. These kind of Pokemon are going to be the ones on which Iron Press will be feasting. It will. It does 120. It takes an extra prize if it gets a KO. We all know that that is coming. We all know that has at least the potential to be very good. Although I'm going to tell you what I've been telling you for literally a decade. We need to wait until these cards are actually out and in the hands of players. And a significant number of games are being played by a significant number of people. Before we can say one way or the other if it's actually good. But yes, Iron Hands is, is going to probably be feasting on a deck like this. Although, if you get set up quickly enough, you can race them, and that is hilarious. So you're going and getting those free tools, and then that's cool. You can go and get whatever tools you want. Honestly, one of the best uses for this is going to be the fact that we've got Forest Seal Stone now. Anytime we've got anything that will search for tools, we need to mention Forest Seal Stone, because, of course, you whack that on a Pokemon V, use the V-Star power, and it lets you search for any card in your entire deck that's a good thing ladies and gentlemen that's a very very good thing so yeah you can search out any tools you like i'm not going to sit here and start listing out tools that's not really the point but what is the point is you can go and search for forest seal stone and that's pretty good but we need something to do with all of these tools might i introduce you to garboda yeah, Garboda's back again, ladies and gentlemen. And Garboda seems to like tools, of course. Remember that we've had that Garboda a couple of times, weirdly. Like, different cards, same ability, that blocks abilities when it has a tool card attached. That Garbo Toxin ability. So, yeah. Garboda likes tools. There we go. Also, we did have the one back in Vivid Voltage. that did 30 damage for each Pokemon tool card in your discard pile. So, yeah. Oh, and let's not forget the VMAX with Rubbish Collecting that can have up to two Pokemon tools attached to it. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Garboda and tools, it's a genuine, legitimate thing. Now, we do have an attack for free energy, 80 damage plus poison. Can, can we all agree we don't need to talk about that very much? Cool. What we do have, however, is a much better attack that for one energy allows you to discard as many Pokemon tools from your hand as you like and deal 50 damage for each tool discarded in this way. 
Oh. Yeah, no, that's really good, ladies and gentlemen. That's really good. Because, you know, let's take something like Iron Hands. Well, if you've got five Pokemon tools, you discard them, you deal 230 plus 20 extra just for funsies, because you're actually doing 250, and then all of a sudden you get the KO. This is what I mean about racing Iron Hands. Yes, they are going to be able to take two prizes off each of your Pokemon. That's a bit of a pain. But it is worth pointing out that you will be able to one-hit KO them. So if you do get going fast enough, that could be funny. And as a little side note, remember Iron Hands does 120. Some builds are going to be trying to use double turbo energy so that they can get going a bit faster using that double energy. But that does mean Iron Hands will only be hitting 110, which actually will put Garboda out of reach. And we're just not even going to mention Future Boost Energy Capsule here, which lets you do an extra 20 damage and brings it back into reach. Except to say, I don't know, at least they have to actually find the tool as well. Maybe they can play a Wug Trio, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they can play a Wug Trio. The point is, this is a good amount of damage. And as I just showed you, five tools, you're getting a lot of relevant Pokemon. Pretty much all Pokemon V... Pretty much all basic EXs, some stage 1 EXs. You are getting a lot of relevant Pokemon here if you can get five Pokemon tools in your hand every turn. Which is actually really not that hard. Because we got Snorlax. Snorlax came out in 151 and Snorlax lets you go and grab two leftovers from your discard pile into your hand every turn. Obviously here you go double Snorlax. And then Double Snorlax lets you go and get four leftovers per turn. And then assuming you can get them out of the deck. And honestly, maybe something like Wugtrio to get them out of the deck in the first place could be a call. Because remember, Wugtrio is an evolution ability, right? As soon as you use it, that's it. It's done. But as soon as you've got them and assuming none are prized, you just discard them all with Garboda every turn. And then next turn, you just recover them with Snorlax. And round and round we go. That's only for, where does the fifth come from? Town Store. The stadium that just came out in, or came out a little while ago, I suppose, at this point, in Obsidian Flames, because that's just a stadium that goes and lets you grab a tool card from your deck. So as long as there's a tool in your deck and you don't have any leftovers prized, you should pretty easily be able to use Snorlax to get four tools a turn, Town Store to get the fifth tool, and then you're hitting 250 reliably. And don't get me wrong, right? If you get up to 300, then you're carrying Pokemon V Max. Well, the weaker ones at least. Pokemon V-Star, pretty much all of them. And if you get up to seven tools, which is asking a lot, that's 350, which is literally anything, which is wonderful. But that's kind of your Snorlax plus your Town Store plus two others, which I'm not saying can't happen, but I absolutely am saying is a little bit awkward. I went there, ladies and gentlemen. I went there. Now, here is the lovely illustration rare, artwork rare of Garboda. It's done by Komatsu. And you're going to recognize Komatsu as having done a few of these at this point, because they have. There are a few of these that are done by Komatsu, the, these artwork rares, illustration rares, character rares as they used to be. And they are all absolutely stunning and wonderful. So if you're a fan of that artist, I've got lovely news, ladies and gentlemen. They're back. And this is awesome. Uh, you might recognize, for instance, the Rapid Strike Octillery from Brilliant Stars. The first one they did, that was a character rare. The Matchup V was one of theirs. And also Alakazam EX that we just got in 151 was one of theirs as well. So, yeah, when, when, when I tell you this stuff is pretty gosh darn cool, ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely mean it. Oh, wait, can I just call out the Magnazone quickly? That Magnazone is phenomenal and I love it. But we do need to mention here... Garboda is not the only one that can do this. We have other Pokemon that can do exactly this, kind of. Like the Electrode, for instance. The one that just came out in 151. It's another stage one. The thing is, it's got 90 HP, which is lower, and it's 20 damage, plus you may discard tools from your Pokemon, and then it does 40 more for each one discarded in this way. The problem is... You've got to start playing around with stuff like Hall Lucha if you want to get more than six tools on the field. And remember, I said, with Garboda, sometimes you might want to get rid of seven tools. Well, you can't do... You can't attach seven tools, not without something like Honchkrow. But you absolutely can do that just if you're discarding from your hand, which I do think makes a pretty big difference. Plus, of course, you're just doing more damage here. Because, of course... 50 times, you know, 
rather than 40 plus 20. Yes, fine at the lower end. You know, one tool with Garboda is 50, whereas one tool with Electrode will actually be 60. But that that's it. Two tools with Garboda is 100. Electrode is 100. Three tools with Garboda is 150. Electrode is 140. And then the gap keeps widening from there. So you are literally just doing more damage. And yes, I suppose we can also mention the Pachirisu here as well. But that's a basic, fine. But it's two energy, that's a problem. And it's 30 damage for each Pokemon tool attached to all of your Pokemon. So sure, you get to keep the tools on the field, but it's 30 times. The damage is just not there. So make no mistake about it. If we're looking at this kind of thing, Garboda is by far the best. And I, and I do mean by far the best. I mean way better than Electrode, way better than Pachirisu. I feel very strongly about this. The question is whether it's going to be consistent enough and whether you'll be able to stand up to stuff like Iron Hands. But make no mistake about it, what we are talking about here is a Pokemon that with two basics and a stadium in play, which is really not that much, could be hitting 250 for a single energy every turn. Keep an eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. This one could be pretty gosh darn good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one four Wossies because I think if you set up this one could be great. Maybe I'm being too generous. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Jelena Renji, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for both the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.